So you just made an HDR video and now you want to edit it in Premiere Pro. If you're having trouble, I'm here to help. Join me on this quick guide in figuring out how to work HDR in Premiere Pro. So first, let's look at an HDR video. I recorded this one not too long ago. Look at that, nice and shiny. So maybe you recorded gameplay or something on an HDR camera. Either way, whatever it is that's HDR, I can help you. So now you have your HDR video, what do you do next? You put it in Premiere Pro. But wait, what's this? Why is it washed out? It looks like crap. If you're just trying to export an SDR video, then you're gonna have to downgrade your HDR video. Not my favorite choice, but sometimes that's what you need to do. Do, 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 do. So select your sequence, wherever it is. I can't seem to find mine. Select your sequence and then go to the sequence settings. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need to mess with. The main thing is the color setting. Right now it's set to Rec 2100 PQ. That's what the HDR video was recorded at. If you want to make it an SDR video, just change it to Rec 709. 709. Rec 709. Make sure Auto Tone Map Media is checked. You'll see a little warning here about you're gonna make your video, blah blah blah. Just hit OK, and there, now it looks a little better. If all you want is that SDR video, you can go to Export. These are not the right settings, you just, uh, right here, see? There you go. Looks all right. Yep, yep, yep. So if you just need to export an SDR video and you don't care about the HDR, you should be all set. Now, if you do want to deal with HDR, you're going to need a couple things first. You're going to need a graphics card that handles HDR and a monitor that can also handle HDR. If you recorded gameplay footage, in HDR, obviously, you have a monitor that supports it. If you're recording with an HDR camera, then you're going to want to make sure your hardware computer supports HDR as well before trying to work with HDR. So to set up Premiere Pro to work with HDR content, first, make sure your sequence settings are set up properly. Go to the color section of your sequence settings and choose the proper rec. If it's a uh, NVIDIA screen capture recording, usually 2100 PQ is what you want. If you were using an iPhone or some kind of high-end camera, it's probably 2100 HLG. Just hit OK on that. Once your sequence is set up properly, there's another step you need to take because this video still looks pretty bad. You have to go to the Premiere Pro preferences and go to the colors section. Make sure display color management and extended dynamic range monitoring is selected. Boom. That looks better. If we compare that to the original video, it should look pretty similar. Now if you want to mess around with some more color settings, you can go to the Lumetri color, I don't know how to say that. But you can go to the color panel and there's all kinds of settings you can play with to change the way your video looks. I'll just mess with the couple. 
You can also wait until you're in the export scene to do a little post-processing. Once you're ready to export, you want to make sure your settings are compatible with whatever your end goal is. So if you want to go on YouTube and put HDR content there, you have a few guidelines to follow. This is from the YouTube support page. Basically, they want you to use MP4, QuickTime, you know, the standard formats. And for your codec, one of these three are preferred and most reliable. Since I have an NVIDIA card, this HEVC is the best option for me. So I'll just go here to more presets, type in PQ. And there's an HEVC setting waiting for me. Now you can see that looks pretty good. There's another thing on the YouTube support page about HDR metadata. So make sure if you are uploading to YouTube and you want it to qualify as HDR content, you follow these three steps here. Once you check this box on the export page, you should be able to change these settings to match YouTube's requirements. I don't know what some of this means. Now you're ready to export your media. And there you have it. That's a quick guide on how to deal with HDR in Premiere Pro 2024. Thanks for stopping by. Come back soon.